Billy Mays here for OxyClean. No, wait, that's not it. Richard Mann here for Understanding in Debate. Definitions for Theists and Atheists. For the past couple of years, I've been teaching myself a new language, Australian, by watching videos made by people from down under. Good eye, Mike, or good eye, Poofter. That's all I've got so far. Sometimes the problem with being self-taught is you become quite knowledgeable about facts that are, in fact, not facts at all. One thing I've figured out the hard way is that good understanding of the words and terms used in a particular field of study is a necessity. This allows real communication and a true exchange of ideas. This being said, I would like to offer some definitions of some words used in science that I think will help people on both sides of the aisle to understand what is being said. Agreeing on definitions, entering into a debate is always a good idea. <clears throat> These definitions are from the National Center for Science Education, and I will provide a link below. Science uses specialized terms that have different meanings than everyday usage. These definitions correspond to the way scientists typically use these terms in the context of their work. Note, especially, that the meaning of theory in science is different than the meaning of theory in everyday conversation. The meaning of fact. <clears throat> in science, an observation that has been repeatedly confirmed and for all practical purposes is accepted as true is a fact. Truth in science, however, is never final and what is accepted as fact today may be modified or even disca discarded tomorrow. Hypothesis. A tentative statement about the nature... Excuse me. Hypothesis. A tentative statement about the natural world leading to deductions that can be tested. If the deductions are verified, the hypothesis is provisionally corroborated. If the deductions are incorrect, the original hypothesis is proved false and must be abandoned or modified. Hypotheses can be used to build more complex inferences and explanations. Law, a descriptive generalization about how some aspect of the natural world behaves under stated circumstances. Theory, and this is the big one, theory. In science, a well-substantiated explanation of some aspect of the natural world that can incorporate facts, laws, inferences, and tested hypotheses. It is my sincerest hope that this will help everyone on either side of this issue to better communicate their thoughts and better understand the thoughts of others. By the way, there are countless free online dictionaries, so if you do not know what someone means, ask them and look it up. It is better to ask somebody what do you mean by X, Y, or Z than to assume that their definition corresponds with your definition. Although I call myself an atheist, this is in reality an intentional mislabeling on my part as it makes for a nice sharp stick with which to poke those uppity creationists that are more overbearing than the others. I think that I am more of an agnostic than anything, as the truth of it is, 
While I doubt very much the existence of a God, I really would like it to turn out that there is a God. But the God I'm hoping for is more of a universal consciousness than anything else. Additionally, while I have but an 8th grade education, I am always interested in discussing anything that will lead to a better understanding of reality for us all. And yes, this includes your rap music, Mojo Sideburns. Also, as I am, at times, quite proficient at being an absolute asshole, please feel free to tell me to go smoke a joint and come back minus the assholedness. The truth of the matter is this. <clears throat> we are all a part of the whole. Whether we like each other, know each other, or even care about each other, we are all a part of the whole. Not only as a group of people, the human race, but also as a part of the entire universe. I hope this proves to be helpful.